console gamers, hear me out. You need a second controller, regardless if you're on Xbox, Nintendo Switch, or a PS5. And you're probably wondering, well, not a lot of games have a co-op two-player modes anymore. That is correct. That is one of the main reasons why I say to have two controllers is in case you want to play with two people and stuff like that. But in this video, we're going to go over some other reasons why you would want to have two controllers, even if you were by yourself, without a friend or a family member to play with. So let's begin. Okay, the first obvious one would be if your controller died what would you do on playstation you would charge it up again but with a second controller you just charge up the second controller and then you turn it on back to normal while the other one's charging for xbox you will take out the double a batteries and put them in another one if you want to i don't know but this is more of a playstation problem than it is an xbox problem since all you have to do with xbox is just change out the batteries whereas with playstation 5 and ps4 you would have to charge the controller up again the main reason for a second controller obviously is to do two-player games such as halo campaign not halo infinite halo mcc but what we're doing here you see how i just died we're on legendary and we're gonna use the method where one person camps back the other person does all the fighting and all the dying and then we just like leapfrog our way through the whole game on legendary that will help us get the legendary achievements for most halo games however halo 4 5 infinite and reach have achievements for doing it solo by yourself that's one of the main reasons for gameplay is getting through achievement hunts and stuff like that whether it's custom games of you fighting each other whether it's a, not social a land like local like in halo custom some games and stuff like that for like multiplayer achievements because I know there was an achievement where I needed to use two people and I would hit one character for an assassination and it would like progress for Halo 2 anniversary multiplayer and I did that with two controllers and I beat most of the Halo games using the boost method that I explained just right now with legendary but even if you don't want an achievement hump and if you wanted to play with friends and family co-op locally without using Xbox Live or any sort of online service you can do that with two controllers I'm not sure if PlayStation has that capability. We are on the Xbox right now. This footage is from an Xbox Series X. Some other reasons that have nothing to do with uh, two players as far as having a second controller goes. One would be if, let's say, one of your buttons breaks, the stick moves around without you pressing it. That's called stick drift. That's when you need a replacement. I have a PS4 controller that's like that with the look stick, so it's kind of messed up. And on my old Xbox One controller, one of the bumpers was messed up, so I had to use a different controller to play effectively. Another reason reason would be if you lost one of your controllers. Hopefully that never happens to you, but let's say you misplaced it or something else, or maybe you traveled and you left it behind or something. That's why you should have a second controller just to negate that. I hope that this video inspired you to get a second controller, and I hope it helps solve your problems as far as the issues addressed in this video and like how to deal with them with two controllers, even if you were by yourself. That was all for this video. Thank you for watching.